All right. All righty. Well, I guess we can get started now. So good morning. Thank you for talking with me today. So today good we, have, morning. we have Emily with us and she's actually the um, co-collaborator on our Western Saddle Fit certification course. So I'm really excited to talk to her today because I think we both know how important saddle fit is, and there seems to be a bit of a lack of education on Western saddle fitting. So um, just tell me a little bit, tell our viewers a little bit who don't know you about you, your background, and what got you interested in doing this course. Um, so I'm, I guess I'm a real horse girl who went all over the place because I just love horses. So I'm a, a trained school teacher. I had my uh, equestrian center uh, where we gave uh, lessons for uh, 10 years. Uh, and then I just uh, became in love in helping horses. So um, through um, Dr. Angel's course, I did my massage therapy. I did uh, my laser therapy. I'm actually a laser practitioner for 18 years now. And I finished my uh, equine osteopathy. So during my years of, of working with people, training horses and being around horses, I realized that maybe 90% of leanness, of um, discomfort, and uh, even in training, behavior came from tech. Um, so that's when I started studying, asking questions, and uh, putting together um, all this information. And I thought that I was spending so much time educating people one-on-one -on -one that we needed to share this to like for the world. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy when you think about it, because even I know for me, like I've been riding since I was five and I grew up taking riding lessons. And when I was younger, they really didn't instill that in you, how important the saddle fit was. It was kind of more about does the saddle fit you correctly? And they, I just felt like it was really lacking for me growing up um, how important the saddle fit was for the horse. And I think there are a lot of people that are just ignorant towards it. They just, they don't know that their horse could be acting out behaviorally because of the saddle that, that they're putting on them. Um, I think there's a lot of information with English tech because it's been, you know, the, the most used saddle um, for uh, hundreds of years. But the Western saddle came here to America and uh, you know, it had some, it had some some history to it. And our horses changed. The change, the quarter horse actually changed. And I mean, we talk about quarter horses, but all kinds of horses. But here in America, it was the quarter horse that was the farm and the use at the animal that we used the most. And we had one or two trees. But this our horses breed completely changed in America, but the saddles didn't. So we needed to evolve. And actually from the last 10 years, the saddle makers are starting to evolve also in changing trees and, and helping. And, and we're seeing the impact on the performance and on the comfort of our horses. Yeah, definitely. So tell our viewers that may not be aware, what are some signs that maybe their horse's saddle isn't fitting correctly? What would they notice? Um, if you have a kind of a trained eye, you'll see the stride of the horses is very, um, different, but, uh, we have horses that are sour. If you approach the, the saddle to the horse, the horse will give you their, their sign. The horse talks, they have a language and they will tell you that something is wrong. You just need to listen. So if you're approaching the saddle and the horses pins their ears or they're sour, they look at you, they want to bite you. Uh, if you're singeing and, and the same thing, the horses are reacting. Um, if you're getting on and they're moving off or, you know, you want to ch change from walk to trot and they want to kind of buck or they're moving off uh, of, of your leg. That's when you're seeing that the horse has a kind of uh, discomfort. But also some some horses are amazing at not saying anything and um, just being uh, introverted and not saying anything. So when you're taking the saddle off, you might see pressure points. You might see on your, your saddle pad that there's um, uh, overuse. So those are kind of signs that you're you have to look for and saying, wait a minute, is my saddle fitting uh properly 
Or am I going to have a horse that's going to be sore in the long run? Because some horses will tell you right away, but some horses will hurt in five or seven years from using a bad saddle. Yeah, that's that's very true. So it's important for people to realize first what you're talking about. If the horse is pinning its ears back at you or it's maybe a little bucky when you first get on it, it's not a behavioral issue most of the time. I mean, there might be some circumstances where a horse learned that they could get away with, you know, maybe doing something and it modified the rider's behavior. So there could be a learned behavior, but most of the time it's because there's something wrong. So people need to realize that because a lot of people just be like, oh, he, that's just what he does. Like he's just cranky or he, you know, whatever. Um, so it's important for them to realize that. And then also, like you said, some horses are super stoic. They just, they don't let you know until they're literally ready to like die from the pain. <laughs> and then they're finally like, I can't do this anymore. So it is really important to know your horse and be familiar with just little changes in them. And like you said, try to use common sense when you're looking at the saddle pad and pressure points and things of that nature. Um, so talking a little bit about the course. One thing, what, one thing. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to note that one thing that most people come to me, actually two, two things that most people come to me is my horse is ulcery because when I singe, it hurts. It might be ulcery, but it might also be your saddle hurting because the pectorals go right underneath there and they might be sore. So that's one of the number one things that people come to me with uh, issues with their horses. And the second one is... Um, well, my horse uh, hurts, the, the back hurts. And uh, when you look at the saddle, sometimes the saddle fits, but sometimes it's the placement. Do you place your saddle at the right spot? Maybe just that, that, that may be a big, big change. So those are the two main things in your saddle fit that you want to look for. Yeah, that's that's really true. Um like you mentioned, if the saddle is not sitting correctly, it's going to, like if it's too far forward, for example, it's gonna inhibit that scapula from, from rotating back as the horse moves. So definitely really important that people are aware of, like you said, where to place the saddle. Um, and there are some different cinches and stuff that can help as well. Like I like to use the shoulder relief cinch with my horses because it does kind of help it sit in a more uh, natural place that's easier on the horses. But um, so t getting back to the course that, that you and I put together, um, do you think that this course is more appropriate for horse professionals or body workers so that they can incorporate a little bit more of Western saddle fit into their practices? Or do you think it's something that um, horse owners could take as well? I think everyone should take this course because if you're a horse practitioner, you will bring your level of um, business um, further because you will not only educate people but you will help these horses one step over you're not going to come as much often fixing the same thing and those owners are going to be uh, very happy with your work but everyone should 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 learn this because you could also help your horse yourself and you could teach others in your barn i mean everybody should be helping these horses and we don't have any resources uh, about western saddles so this is your go-to um place where we put together um, the industry's best videos and, and information for you to uh apply with your own horse or with your client's horse yeah. And also just so our viewers know, this is an online course. So whether you're in the US, Canada, Australia, wherever you may be, and you're utilizing Western Saddles, you can access this course, you can take it, you can complete the certification. We do um, online videos that you will submit so that you can show us how you're fitting the saddle and kind of talk through it. And then you also have guidance from us as you need it. But um, yeah, I think it's definitely really important um, for people that may not otherwise have access to taking a class like this, putting it online really makes it a lot easier for more people to access it. And it's, it's something you completely can learn online. Like it's definitely easy to learn online. So um, is there anything else about the course that you'd like to let our viewers know? Um, I think the future, like you were saying about online courses, um, some people are scared of online courses. They like to be face-to-face uh, -face and and to be um, emerge with a teacher. But what I could say, this is the future because you could go back and look at these videos over and over again and 
pick on, you know, sometimes you forget, sometimes you need to, you know, scrutinize what you're doing. So um, these courses are really um, we made an effort because I have a master's degree in education. I really made an effort in breaking it down so you guys could really um, grasp everything and take your time so learning everything, uh, learning all the knowledge step by step. And it makes it really easy. And it's um, even if, you know, you, you don't like school or you are not good in school, these are made with videos and uh, the way it's it's put together. You can do it on your phone while you're with your horse. So it's very convenient. And the way you, you learn is is through your, how can I say, uh, Dr. Angel, it's like... Um, you, you learn with with like if you had someone with you all the time, but they're just on your phone or on your, your computer. So it's really it's uh, yeah, easy. Yeah, I definitely agree. I, so I know for me, when I take um, in-person seminars, it can be nice to have the person there as you're doing it. But I often forget a lot. You know, I'll come home and I'll be like, mm -hmm. OK, what, what was that that we were doing? And it's so nice with these courses, like you said, that you can go back, you can rewatch it. And our courses never expire. So you if you want to rewatch it as many times as you want, you can. If you don't look at it for a year or two and then you decide I'm going to go and take the course over again and have a refresher, you can do that. And we do modify it periodically. So as we get feedback from students, as new um, research comes out, different things like that, we will add to the course. So it's definitely something that if you want to jump back in a few years later and take it again and kind of review it and see what's new, you can do that, which is really nice. So I think it definitely uh, makes it easier. And also, as you were saying, with the online courses being the future, I started this company, we're actually hitting our 10 year anniversary in January. So it's been 10 years now. When I first started, I had a lot of people criticizing me for trying to teach animal body work and different techniques online. And I can say now we have so much competition. We were pretty much the only people doing it back then. And there's so much competition. So if it didn't work, that would not be the case. <laughs> and also um, just the fact that we've been going strong for a decade uh, really shows how effective online learning can be. Awesome. Yeah. So Pretty cool stuff. But um, is there anything else that you want to share with our viewers? Doesn't necessarily have to be about Western Saddle Fit, but anything that you feel like they could benefit from or if they want to get in touch with you or follow anything that you're doing? Um, I think in the horse industry, we have to share everything we we learn. So you know, visit um our Facebook pages. Don't be shy. Write to us if you're not sure. Uh, you know, we all have busy lives at the barn, but I mean, we love sharing everything that we learn and, and we don't know everything. This is what's great about these platforms is that we continue you learning and if you guys figure out something you come and share it to us and we'll share the world. So that's what's amazing about this platform. Yeah. And also just to note for um, our viewers that are watching, you are in Canada and you are bilingual. So we have had you actually translate our equine kinesiology taping course into French and you're the TA teaching assistant for that course. So if people want to take the course in French and do their assignments in French, they're able to do so. So that's something too, if anybody's watching and they um, are looking for something like that in, in French. And uh, at some point, depending on how many French students we get, maybe we could translate yeah. the Western saddle fit and some other things into it as well. But I just want to let people Those know. Those will be definitely it. something I would like to do this winter um, uh, is to, to translate the saddle fitting course in French and uh, yes, English, uh, but we have a lot of, of people all over the world that speak different languages. And sometimes it's just fun to, to have both also, you know, I like the way that um, you, allow us to have both sites so French and English and we could go back and forth because sometimes it's technical and on you know the world's in, more in French or more in English or more in Spanish because I know you have access to other languages so again that's amazing so yes I'm planning to try to to have time to to translate more courses and so we could allow all our French speakers to have uh, uh, even more uh, course available yeah definitely and as you were mentioning, so what she what she means is if you sign up for the French course, I'll also give you the English course at no additional cost, just so you can compare and contrast and go through both of them. Um, if that's something that you want, because a lot of people, like you said, are bilingual and they they may 
if anything, just want to take the English course so they can kind of learn some of the ter terminology in English, but it may be easier for them to complete the, the French course. And we do have um, actually our equine massage uh, and kinesiology taping courses translated into Spanish as well. So if anybody um, wants to take the Spanish version, we have that available too. So yeah, cool stuff. Um, and also you come down to Ocala in the winters. So we were also thinking if anybody's interested, yes. I am, I'm in Florida as well. I'm in uh, New Smyrna Beach, which is about two hours south of Ocala. I'm just south of Daytona Beach. So we may be able to collaborate on doing a hands-on um, Western Saddle Fit seminar here at, at the property. So if anybody's interested in attending that, you can reach out to us and we'll let you know as we get that set up too. That would be so exciting to, you know, collaborate, film, and and uh, meet all you guys down there if you if you want to come down. And we could definitely do a great day of of going through everything we, we learn on the course. Yeah, definitely. I think it would be a lot of fun. And I think hopefully we could get a lot of local horse owners to attend, too, because we do have a lot of Western riders. We have a lot of riders in general, but we do have a lot of, like, barrel racers and uh, Western riders in this area, too. So I think that would be a lot of fun. But yeah, so I think that's pretty much uh, it for the uh, Western Saddle Fitting course. I do highly encourage all of you, if you're either an equine professional and you have any Western clients, or if you are a rider who rides Western, definitely worth uh, checking out the course. And it's very affordable. We do also offer payment plan options. So um, definitely check it out. And we do have a free trial too. So if you want to enroll in a free trial, check out the beginning of the course, kind of see how it flows and view the format in the curriculum. That is all there for you. So thank you so much, Emily. I appreciate your time. And hopefully I'll see you soon down here in Florida. Yes, where it's a little hotter than here because you know, we already have our turn X coming up. So yep. I can't wait to wear my t-shirts. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm still in my summer clothes. So yeah. <laughs>